The latest now on the coronavirus pandemic. Governor Steve Sisolak declaring a state of emergency in Nevada as a number of cases reach 11. All right, so right now, here's the very latest. There are now seven presumptive positive cases in Clark County and one confirmed case. Meanwhile, there are two presumptive positive and one confirmed cases in northern Nevada. But the governor tonight saying that we all can expect a spike in these numbers as more tests are made available. Well, there's got to be a spike. The more tests you have, the more positives you're going to have. That's a given. But we need to get out front of this and test as much as possible. And I'm confident with uh, calmness as opposed to panic and calamity that we'll be able to handle the situation. Well, the governor is saying that he is also right now very frustrated with the federal government's ability to get testing kits to our state. The governor is also saying that he is, quote, extremely concerned about hourly employees and the effect that this virus will have on them. And this is why the governor is concerned. Empty chairs and an empty McCarran Airport in Las Vegas tonight. Convention after convention has now been canceled and sports books, which are usually busy right now, are turning into ghost towns. All right, let's get right to 13 investigative reporter Joe Bartels. He's live right now on the strip with the precautions and also the, more of these really eerie images, Joe. Well, Todd and Trisha, the Las Vegas Strip is really open for business, busy at some points here, and several hotels and casinos are taking precautions to keep guests and employees safe. Parts of Sin City are eerily empty. Even in the rain, typically people would be watching the Bellagio Fountains. Some of the sports books are also clearing out. Coronavirus concerns have canceled or suspended some professional sports for now. I think the final blow to us was when the uh, NCAA basketball tournament was canceled. Of course, that's one of our biggest events of the year, if not the biggest. Over at the Superbook at Westgate, NCAA March Madness bets have been refunded. NBA and NHL seasons are suspended, which means no wagers for now. It's very difficult to quantify, you know, financially what this means to us because it's it's such a rippling effect. This event is so big for this town. It's not just about the sports books, but it's also about, you know, the restaurants, the cab drivers, of course, the hotels. It, uh, it affects this whole city. When Resorts is now scanning guests at all entrances with non-invasive thermal cameras for fevers, a symptom of coronavirus, also called COVID-19. Uh, you know, something I would expect from Wynn. You know, Wynn is always very, very uh, uh, good at customer relations, and they're always very good at following the protocol of, of what's going on. And, and you know, the, the world is judging how people are reacting right now. When resorts were also among the first immediately after the Las Vegas mass shooting to screen bags, suitcases and gas for weapons. But to combat coronavirus, there could be even more precautions coming. Um, I think you're going to see a lot of the bigger casinos, especially falling in line with these types of precautions, you know, whether they're warranted or not. You know, this is what the world is expecting in, in Las Vegas, especially the bigger companies have to step up in that manner. Precautions are one thing, but public perception is another. 13 investigates obtained photos from on board a commercial jet leaving Sin City for San Diego. Many seats open and McCarran's baggage claim almost empty as people hunkered down during this global pandemic. And Wynn has also canceled all large entertainment gatherings, also restricting buffets, nightclubs and theaters. MGM and Caesars properties have also suspended their buffet services to slow the spread of the coronavirus. Reporting live, Joe Bartels, 13 Action News.